Well, I'm Al's mom, Mr. Dan Tamray Mellon, and you're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Tuesday, July 14th, 2020, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mello, that's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O, on Twitter at the Enter Report, or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Authorities in Southern California said Monday they believe that the body recovered from Lake Piro is that of actress Naya Rivera, who went missing while on the lake last week and was presumed drowned. Ventura County Sheriff Bill Ayub said searchers were confident the body was that of Rivera, who starred in the hit series Glee. Ayub said searchers found the body floating early Monday morning. Officials called the death as accidental and said they did not suspect foul play. Cast members from Glee and other friends reportedly gathered for a prayer in a reunion on the shore shortly before the body was found, reported E! Online. Family members and volunteers helped search the lake where the 33-year-old actress, who also started Devious Maids, disappeared while swimming last Wednesday. Authorities later found her four-year-old son alone wearing a life jacket and sleeping in a rented pontoon boat. Officials said Thursday they were retreating the search as a recovery, and the actress was presumed to be dead. A few days before her disappearance on July 6, Rivera posted on her Instagram account reminding her 2 million followers to never take their days for granted. She wrote, no matter the year, circumstances, or strife, every day you're alive is a blessing. Make the most of today and every day you're given. Tomorrow is never promised. Imagine the next level, Bad Boys for Life and Fantasy Island are coming to stars. The network announced new titles for its summer of blockbusters at home event in a press release Monday. The titles also include The Grudge, Charlie's Angels, Little Women, and Bloodshot. Uh, summer of Blockbusters offers exclusive first-run movies to viewers with stars. The movie said, uh, the network said, the event will transform backyard into at-home movie theaters for people as they stay home amid the coronavirus pandemic. Viewers with stars can stream or download Jumanji The Next Level, The Grudge, and Charlie's Angels on Star's app now. The full list of movies is coming to the Star's app and will air on Star's in July and August. Thursday at 7.17 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Star's Jumanji The Next Level, starring Dwayne Johnson, Jack Black, Kevin Hart, and Karen Gillian. On Thursday at 9.23 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Star's The Grudge will star Andrea Rosenborough. Damian Bierstrom, John Cho, and Betty Giplin. On Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Stars, Charlie's Angels, starring Kristen Stewart, Naomi Scott, and uh, Ella Belinsky. On July 31st at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Stars, July 22nd, Stars app premiere is Little Women, starring Sarosa Ronan, Emma Watson, Florence Pugh, and Eliza Scanlon. And on August 7th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Stars, August 6th, stars a uh, app premiere, Bad Boys for Life, starring Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. Star Trek is going animated once again in the first trailer for the upcoming CBS All Access series, Lower Decks. The adult animated series follows a ragtag team of support crew met workers. Uh, who are on board one of the Starfleet's least important ships, the USS Cerritos. Inside Mariner, Bolmir, and Redifer and Tendi must keep up with their duties at the bottom of the ship, but still see some action as the USS Cerritos visits strange and new planets. Star Trek Lower Decks was developed by Emmy Award winner Mike McClan, who, uh, who created Rick and Morty and Solar Opposites. The series will premiere August 6th on CBS All Access. Tony Newsom, Jack Coy, uh, Noel Wells, Eugene Cordero, Don Lewis, Jerry O'Connell, uh, Fred Tescacori, and Jillian Vigman provide the voices. The show is the first, uh, the first new Star Trek animated program since 1973's Star Trek The Animated Series. CBS All Access is also the home of Star Trek Picard, Star Trek Discovery, and the upcoming series Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Tariq St. Patrick must help his mom in a new teaser trailer for the upcoming Power sequel series, Power Book 2, Ghost. 
Tariq, portrayed by Michael Rainey Jr., is attempting to keep his mother, Tasha, played by Notori Naughton, out of jail after she faces charges for murder that he committed. Tariq turns to a life of crime in order to afford defense lawyers Davis McLean, played by Cliff Methman Smith, Tasha's only hope of escaping prosecution by U.S. Attorney Cooper Sachs, played by Shane Johnson. Tariq says in the clip, which was posted on to Twitter Sunday, I have to do anything to help my mother. Power Book 2 goes from series creator and showrunner Courtney A. Kemp, executive produced by Curtis 50 Cents Jackson, takes place after the Power finale. The new show will premiere in September on Stars. Mary J. Blige, Johnny Polo, Quincy Tyler Bernstein, uh, David Bellamy, Paige Hurd, McLean Liburn, uh, Justin Mar Marcel McManus, Woody McLean, Lavelle Adams Gray, and Latanya uh, Tenderio also star on the show. A new docu series about the British girl group Spice Girls is coming to Channel 4. The network said in a tweet Monday that it ordered Girl Power, the Spice Girls, a new series fe featuring archival footage of and interviews about the band. The post reads, through archival footage and revealing interviews, this series will tell the complete story of the best-selling girl band of all time, coming soon at Channel 4. Girl Power hails from Rob Coldstream and Claire Cameron, who directed Channel 4's Jade, the reality star who changed Britain. Coldstream will executive produce with Cameron to serve as a series editor. The docuseries will reportedly premiere in 2021 to honor the 25th anniversary of the release of the Spice Girls hit single wannabe. The Spice Girls consist of Mel B, Melanie Chisholm, Emma Button, Jerry Hallowell, and Victoria Beckham made their debut as a group in 1994. The band released two albums, Spice 1996 and Spice World 1997, and a film, Spice World the Movie 1997, before Hallowell's departure in 1998. Following Hallowell's exit, the Spice Girls released a third album, Forever in 2000. The group began an indefinite hiatus in 2001, but has since reunited on several occasions, including a reunion tour of Sands Beckham in 2019. Amazon has renewed the action drama series Hannah for a third season. Amazon made the announcement on Twitter Monday alongside a photo series star uh, Esme Creed Miles stating, I thought I would, I would be what you wanted. Amazon says, because you know what? Hannah was exactly what we wanted. Hannah is based on the 2011 original film of the same name. Hannah, played by Creed Miles, who has enhanced DNA and was trained to fight and hunt like an assassin, is on the run from the CIA and the Shaddy uh, Ultras organization. Meryl Enos, Derek Mulroney, Jasmine Money Prince, Anthony Welsh, Ellie Rose Daly, and Gianna Kale also star. Hannah Season 2 premiered in July. The series hails from creator David Farr, who also wrote and served as an executive producer. Netflix is giving fans a glimpse of the new series Emily in Paris. The streaming service shared first look photos of the romantic comedy series Monday featuring Lily Collins as Emmy, Emily, an American marketing executive who moves to Paris for a new job. One of the photos shows Emily wearing a black gown and holding a glass of champagne while attending an event. The Eiffel Tower can be seen in the background. Uh, another photo shows Emmy, Emily sitting on a bench with her friend Mindy, played by Ashley Park, on the streets of Paris. The official synopsis reads, Emily's new life in Paris is filled with intoxicating adventures and surprising challenges as she juggles winning over the work colleagues, making friends, and navigating new romances. Emily in Paris is created, written, and executive produced by Darren Starr. Patricia Field designed the costumes for the show which premieres in the fall. The series was originally slated to air on the Paramount Network. Emily in Paris co-stars Filipina Leroy Bayo, Lucas Bravo, Samuel Arnold, Camille Raza, and Bruna Grusri. In addition to starring, Collins serves as the producer. Collins, who's the daughter of singer and musician Phil Collins, is known for starring in the 2012 film Mirror Mirror. She has since appeared in The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones, Rules Don't Apply, and Tolkien. Disney Plus has announced on Monday that a new Star Wars animated series titled Star Wars The Bad Batch will be coming to the streaming service in 2021. The show will follow the elite and experimental clones of The Bad Batch who were first introduced in fellow animated series Star Wars The Clone Wars. The Bad Batch, who vary genetically from normal clones, will be taking on missionary mission missions as they try to find their place 
and the ever-changing galaxy following the Clone Wars. Derek Filoni is executive producing alongside Athena Pertortillo, uh, Brad Raul, and Jennifer Corbett, who is also serving as the head writer. Carrie Beck is executive producing with Josh Ryan's producing. Raul also serves as a supervising director. Agnes Cho, the senior vice president of content at Disney Plus, said in a statement, giving new and existing fans the final chapter of Star Wars The Clone Wars has been an our honor at Disney Plus, and we are overjoyed by the global response of this landmark series. While The Clone Wars may have come to its conclusion, our partnership with the groundbreaking storytellers and artists at Lucasfilm's animation is only beginning. We're thrilled to bring David Filoni's vision to life through the next adventures of the Bad Batch. Star Wars The Clone Wars ended after seven seasons in May. The Bold and the Beautiful will begin airing next week. CBS announced in the press release Monday that the long-running soap opera will return to television on July 20th. The July 20th episode will center on the latest drama surrounding the Forrester family. Kay, played by Heather Tom, tells Carter, played by Lauren St. Victor, about how Quinn, played by Raina Salford Sabotage Brooke, played by Catherine Kelly Lang, and Ridge, played by Thorsten Kay's reunion party. In addition, Zoe and Carter discuss Zoe's whirlwind romance with Thomas, played by Matthew Atkinson. Zoe and Carter also learn about Sally, played by Courtney Hope's illness. The new episodes will feature newcomer Tanner Novin, who plays Steffi's doctor, John Fink Finnegan. Novin will make his debut on the show during the July 23rd episode. Dallin Demetz will also join as the cast as Eric Foster's grandson, Zen Forrester Dominguez. CBS will announce the Mets' first episode at a later date. The Bowl and the Beautiful resumed filming in Los Angeles in June after the coronavirus production shut down. The show was the first U.S. broadcast series to resume filming. Denise Richards, who plays Shauna Fulton on The Bowl and the Beautiful, said in an interview with UPI that the cast and crew had a big Zoom meeting to learn about new COVID-19 safety guidelines. The show is now enlisting cast members, spouses, and partners to stand in for their co-stars while filming the love scenes. The docuseries Robbie Patel's Pursuit of Happiness has moved from HBO Max to CNN and will premiere on the streaming service on August 27th. The four-part series will follow um, uh, um, actor, documentary, and philanthropist Robbie Patel as he travels the world with a friend or family member to try to answer life's universal questions. Patel will be featured traveling to Mexico with his parents to discuss retirement and aging, to Japan with his wife to learn about parenting and gender roles, to Korea with an entrepreneur friend to explore work and life balance, and to Denmark with a Muslim friend to explore immigration crisis. Patel said in the statement, I'm obsessed with trying new things and getting better. I love fun and I love love, hence the premise of this show. He continued by saying, each episode truly was a life-changing journey. I learned so much about myself, laughed with some of the most inspiring people in my life, and gained 15 pounds. With the world in such a crazy place right now, maybe this show is what some of us need, if anything, a laugh or two. Patel is best known for the 2014 documentary ser- uh, film, Meet the Patels, and has appeared in Transformers, Masters of None, Come As You Are, and Longshot. The actor co-created and starred in Bog, Beanie Bog, which premiered this fall on Netflix. Idris Elba has landed a first-look deal with Apple. The 47-year-old British actor, writer, producer, and DJ will produce the new TV series and films for Apple TV Plus via his Green Door Productions company. Jay Hunt, uh, Apple's creative director for Europe, led the deal. Hunt is the woman who originally commissioned Elba's series Luther at the BBC. Elba founded Green Door in 2013. The company's credits include Elba's Sky One Star series in the long run and his Netflix series Turn Up Charlie. Elba and Green Door recently completed production on Ricky Stobbs' directorial debut, Concrete Cowboy. Elba is known for playing Stringer Bell on The Wire and Handel in Thor and other films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He stars as the title character John Luther on the BBC One series Luther. Elba said during a Zoom Q&A last week that he's pushing for a Luther film. He said, according to Sky News, I made it very clear that I'd like to see Luther come back as a film. 
And I can tell you this, that we are this close from making a film of Luke. Actress and television personality Olivia Cupo and models Jasmine Sanders and Kate Bach have landed the cover of the new Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. The Sports Illustrated unveiled the 2020 cover Monday on Instagram featuring Cupo, Sanders, and Bach. The photographer and former America's Next Top Model Judge Yaz Sai photographed the trio in Bali, Indonesia, um, in November. Kopo, Sanders, and Bach also appeared on their own individual covers for the issue. Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Editor-in-Chief MJ Day says, There are three women who make up the 2020 Sports Illustrated Swimsuit issue are inherently unique, but a solidarity exists among them in terms of ambitions, goals, and what they stand for. Kupo, a former Miss USA and Miss Universe winner, um, has appeared as an actress in the films American Satan and I Feel Pretty, reacted to the cover Monday on Instagram. She says, wow, I am really am speechless and still doesn't feel real. I'm so grateful for every experience I've been able to have with my at SI swimsuit family. It's been an honor to be surrounded by so many amazing and strong women. Beck said in a post on her own account that she couldn't be more excited about the issue. She said, this magazine, this trip to Bali, these cover girls, I'm speechless. I'm literally beyond words. My insights are bursting. I'm so thrilled and proud to represent Sports Illustrated as his cover girl. Bach also posted a video of herself dancing while holding the issue. Uh, she wrote, PSA, dreams do come true. Sanders, a.k.a. Golden Barbie, was previously the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Rookie of the Year in 2019. Bach was Rookie of the Year in 2013 while Kupo has appeared in the swimsuit issue for three consecutive years. Kanye West has released a new song titled Donda in honor of his late mother Donda West on her birthday. Kanye West uploaded a video of archival footage onto Twitter Sunday that featured the track. The clip includes footage of Kanye West spending time with his mother. Kanye West captioned the video in loving memory of my incredible mother on her birthday. My mom recites KRS-One lyrics. This song is called Donda. Donda West starts the song off by reciting lyrics from KRS-One's Sound of the Police before Kanye West jumps in. Kanye West raps, Mama, I need you to tuck me in. I done made some mistakes and they rubbed it in. I know you and Grandma had enough of them. Donda West died at the age of 58 in 2007 from post-surgery complications. Kanye West announced a 10th studio album title, Goal, uh, God's Country, that will include his song, Wash Us in the Blood. Kanye West has not announced if Donda will appear on the new album. Kanye West recently stated that he plans to run for U.S. president compete, uh, and compete against Republican incumbent Donald Trump and Democratic challenger Joe Biden. And finally, Jennifer Lopez and Maluma are teasing new music they're recording together on Instagram. Both music stars uploaded photos of each other having a studio session together on Sunday. Lopez said alongside images of herself sitting next to Maluma on a couch and an image of the pair laughing as they appeared to be working on lyrics, Are You Ready? Maluma posted a similar photograph from the collaboration. Lopez and Maluma star together in an upcoming romantic comedy titled Marry Me. Lopez stars in the film as a pop star who finds out that her rock star fiancé, portrayed by Maluma, has cheated on her at their wedding. Lopez then randomly selects Owen Wilson, who is watching from an audience, to marry instead. Lopez previously announced that she recorded new music for the film's soundtrack along with Maluma. The film has no set release date. And that is the entertainment report for Tuesday, July 14th. 2020. I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O on Twitter at the answer report or on Instagram at the entertainment report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the entertainment report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for the Entertainer Report, and it'll take you to the page. Good night, and God bless you all.